Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm head travelling lad for George Bowie. Today we've got two runners at Chelmsford in the 205 race, March and Mac and Cocktail Dress. And they're both wearing snaffle. Uh, one says fig eight, but it's normally a cross noseband, so I'm going to stick a cross noseband on March and Mac because he's got quite a big head. All the bridles are here. Loads of different colour brow bands, but these go with the colours as per. We've got uh, three bits on the wall there that they can look to see what they need to pack. Uh, most bags are normally half packed anyway because we're racing near enough every day. We've got Vicky who's this who's the second traveller. Um, she obviously will get the second meeting. Um, then you've got Tim who does a bit of third and Paul Heslop who will also also do a bit of travelling especially through the summer months. So black bags I have the bridles I'll have spares like lip chain, uh, lead reins. Then I'll stick in bandages, wrap some paper with some rubber gloves for after. So now we're just about to get cocktail dress ready for Chelmsford, uh, brushing over, uh, taking rugs off, putting a travel sheet on and travel boots. Then eventually loading her up onto the, onto the box. So Chelmsford to go to really is where it's nice and close. They, they don't really turn a hair on the way. They don't really sweat up. Um, they can literally come out of their box in the yard, eat up, head straight there and get nice and relaxed. There's not many runners in the race, but we reckon Cocktail Dress has got a, a fairly good chance today. She runs over seven furlongs. She had a nice, nice run first time out uh, and come fourth, but hopefully she's She's come one step a step further. Just gonna take all the stuff in, get the horses settled, uh, give them a little lead round, then clean up the boxes and get them moved round, round to the back. Grace McAtee and Holly Doyle. Thank you, cheers. A uh, little, little bit of chill time really for the lads and get a bit of food just before we start and uh, we start to do over the horses, getting ready for, for the races. Um, and that's about it, really. All good, yeah? Next time, Tim. Can I have Holly Doyle and Grace McEntee to weigh out, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cocktail dress, gonna get her in now, saddle her up, and get her straight back out, hopefully to follow our other, our other horse. So I'm putting a, a chamois on now, that's so oh, to help the saddle not slip. And then the pads, then the weight cloth, number cloth. Stretch your legs. Uh, so they don't catch themselves in the girth, so they don't nip. Good luck, Holly. Jump well enough. A decent position. Getting after her already. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. No, I think she just got beat. Just needs a mile. Yeah, she wants further. She didn't do a lot wrong, really. Good old girl. She's actually she's run great, she just needs a bit further, needs a, needs a mile really, at least. Um, past the line, she was in front, just, just a bit unlucky today. Uh, so we're, first we try and give them a bit of water and get them walking round. Then we go straight out and give them a wash down. Make sure they've got no cuts, got all their shoes. Um, and yeah, we get them back up to the yard once we've done all that. The adrenaline still kicked in, but she looks fine at the minute.
Yeah, back, back in the box now with cocktail dress. Um, travel beautifully on the way home. So that's it for today uh, at Chelmsford. Uh, it wasn't the result we wanted, but she ran well and she's, she's come home absolutely fine. On to tomorrow, we'll be racing at Wolverhampton. <laughs>